I'm going to show you how to fuse a joint rather than solder it. This is something I do quite often with things like wedding rings where I want the joint to be totally invisible. Now fusing is something you can do quite easily with high character golds and platinum. Sterling silver is a little bit difficult because of the copper in it but this particular silver has got palladium in it. Now if you want the details of that go to the website and look at the free lessons and when you scroll through the free lessons you'll find this particular demonstration there and there's an attachment in the curriculum. Now whilst you're there just check out all the other free lessons they are totally free there's no obligation and this lesson now will give you an idea of what to expect when you do look at a jewellery training solutions video uh, you get the full instructions the YouTube channel only shows the preview so there's been some confusion over that I don't expect you to pick up all the information from the YouTube videos so uh, check out what I offer online and remember if you're a new student your first lesson is half price just use this coupon code and if you're not interested to buy any lessons or subscribe that's fine but just keep an eye on the latest lessons page on the website and now and again you'll find there's a free one available hope you enjoy so the first thing to do is to make sure that the joint is nice and clean so just run a file over both sides and close it up it doesn't have to be too tight because we're going to wedge a piece of the same alloy in there and I've rolled this scrap piece to 0.3 of a mil so anything between 0.2 and half a mil is fine so just file both sides you need it to be perfectly clean and this is the best way to do it and now we're going to apply plenty of flux I'll put it onto the piece of sheet first before I run it around this joint make sure that it's perfectly level and it's also a good idea to just go around the joint I'm using a three square file and I'm just going to apply a little trough going around so this is giving the molten metal somewhere to run around and this will help the joint. Now you don't have to do that but what you need to do is make sure that it is clean all the way around so if you don't create that little um, trough there then just file around surface like so get it nice and clean but you should be able to see it's got a little slight dip there where the joint is. So now I'll fuse that, uh, sorry I'll put some flux on that and the flux I use is Tenacity 4A flux paste, that's that one there and it's ready to go so you don't have to mix anything stick there I used to use uh, O flux or all flux quite a lot and that's that yellow liquidy flux but that tends to bubble and um, jump off the joint so that's no good for something like this now I'm just going to cut away the sheet and leave around about a mil over going around the joint I've got the ring in my third hand and I've got a pair of solder tweezers ready to pick it up once I start fusing so that I can turn it around because I need to um, make sure that the fuse goes all the way all the way around that joint. Now it's very important that you get the right type of flame on your torch. This is a number six torch tip, so a five or a six is fine for something like this. And you need an, an oxidizing flame. So you need to get it like so, so you've got a really bright blue 
points there. The hottest part of this flame is just in front of the point, the bright point there. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, zoom in and put a filter on the lens so that you can see what goes on. So apply the flame right on the joint, right on the little bit of sheet you got there and get the point of the flame really close and you'll see it start melting and running towards the ring. I'll pick it up with my tweezers and work on the other side. And that's pretty much it. I'll give you a chance to look at that before I pickle it. And what you want to make sure you don't create are little bubbles. So if you see any bubbles on the surface or big pits, then just apply the flame again and uh, try and get it as smooth, smooth as possible. Now the actual joints doesn't look very clean and neat and that's another difference with the, a solder joint and a fuse joint. A solder joint will look a lot cleaner than that but um, the benefit of it is that it's exactly the same alloy so that joint will be invisible and that part of the ring is going to be exactly the same as the rest of it. So I'll pickle that, we'll clean it up and make sure there's no little pit marks or anything like that. So if you're going to try fusing the joint, then I recommend that you do some um, practice first. Don't do it on a customer job straight away uh, because it's a split second timing. If you leave the flame there too long then you're going to melt the work, so do a bit of practice and um, if you do find when you clean it up that there's some little uh, holes in there then if they're just minor I'll show you how you can remove those without doing another fuse or putting a little bit of solder in there. Once you've filed it and cleaned it up, just go over with some 2000 emery and that will take it almost to a polish and allow you to examine the joint to make sure there's no little pit marks in there. Now that happens if you've overheated the metal that uh, we folded onto the ring and um, if you do overheat it then it tends to bubble and it leaves the evidence behind. So if you do find you've got pitting there, as you can see it will give you a closer look this joint is really clean so this is a great fusing metal this um, also platinum is a, an excellent metal for fusing but obviously you have to take it up to a much higher temperature so if you find you've got pitting there then you can remove it with a burnisher if it's very fine uh, or you can use a Dremel tool which is one of my favourite tools and this is like a little mini hammer so you, if it's uh, a lot bigger the pitting you can kind of close it in with this. It's also good for cleaning up porosity as well so bear that in mind. Um, or if the pitting is too evident then you just have to re-fuse it and just be careful not to uh, overheat it. So hopefully you'll try uh, to fuse your rings in future and uh, rather than soldering because by fusing the whole ring is the same alloy and you won't find that joint again. Hope you enjoyed.